Hi guys, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. As always, before we dive into today's topic, uh, if you'd like to discuss estate planning or probate, schedule a free strategy session with me. Contact me at njestateattorney.com. I'd love to sit down and uh, do that with you. So today's topic is about sports tickets and your estate plan. Um, so with sports tickets... We don't want you to forget about these things, especially if you want them to go to a specific person, because if we don't tell uh, who these are specifically going to, there's going to be, uh, I will say, 60-75% of the time, a lot of fighting between beneficiaries who really want these tickets. So, um, being in New Jersey, we t in North Jersey, we tend to handle more Giants, Jets, Yankees, Mets stuff, but I know down in South Jersey, there's the Phillies, the Eagles um, as well. So uh, when it comes to like the Giants and Jets tickets, when MetLife Stadium was built, what they did was they did these private seat licenses or PSLs uh, that people purchased into. So they spent X amount of dollars for their seats, and then in addition, they had to purchase season tickets. So basically, you own those seats. Um, and in the agreement, what I'm going to actually tell you in part of this video, you will be able to do probably most of the legwork yourself, um, and finding out the information because everything varies team to team really. But, um, if you look at the agreement that you signed when you purchased the PSL, there's usually a gifting, um, a paragraph in, re in a regards to gifting the PSLs or a transfer of the PSLs to a family member upon death. Um, you wanna review that agreement for that language if the, uh, the teams had foresight into it. If not, you pick up the phone, you call the team, and you ask them the question. I will bet every dollar I make from here into eternity that you are not the first person to make that phone call and say, hey, how do I transfer these uh, tickets? I want to put them in my estate plan. Um, so uh, that's part of the legwork. This, uh, then what's going to happen is, uh, and just to break it down, if you just have season tickets and not a PSL, season tickets are just a contract between you and the actual team. Um, so those cannot be transferred because that's usually like a year-to-year -year contract where you're paying X amount of dollars each year for that contract. Uh, for the the tickets, which are the contract between you and the team to sit in those seats. The PSL, on the other hand, you've actually spent thousands and thousands of dollars on and you own those seats, um, according to the agreement. So the uh, other thing that you want to look into is, I know New Jersey college sports fans, um, even college sports fans nationwide, if you donate a lot of money to your teams, I'm not sure how... Uh, the local universities do it, but it's just a phone call away. Um, if you donate a lot of money to be put on and you have like Rutgers football tickets or Seton Hall basketball tickets um, and you've been donating and you've accumulated all these points um, that's put you into higher and higher tiers, uh, which puts you in line for, let's say, uh, moves you up the list if Rutgers were to make the college football playoff or if Seton Hall were to make the NCAA Final Four. It puts you on some sort of a priority waiver list. Um, and th this accumulation of points can be transferred down. Um, there are universities nationwide that do this. Um, and like I said, it's just a phone call away. You are not the only person that's ever made this phone call to say, hey, how can I transfer this status or these points to um, in my estate plan? Uh and then when uh, you're doing the estate plan, where I come in really is um, they, uh, what happens is, I'm sorry, um, when I'm doing the estate plan, I actually am going to go through the agreement and I'm going to contact the teams because sometimes teams want to see certain language, like specific wording, word for word, verbatim for how they want it written. So when they see it, they know that that was done properly and to their satisfaction. Um, so that's kind of the uh, what we're looking for here. Um, to keep everybody satisfied, we don't want infighting. So part of this you do, you can do, part of this I do to help you with the estate plan. 
Um, so please don't forget these tickets when you're doing your estate plan. If you have any questions regarding estate planning or probate or this video, uh, want to discuss estate planning with me, uh, please schedule a free strategy session with me. Contact me at njestateattorney.com. I'd be happy to sit down and speak to you. Uh, if you have, if you found this video helpful, please hit like. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. As always, I'm David Campanile, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. Have a great day.